Heading cards in Phoenix Light. We're going to show you how to set up two different types of cards. The first is a single type card. A single card identifies only one thing. It can be either a driver or any kind of vehicle or anything you want, but it cannot separate drivers and vehicles because it is only a single entry. The second type of card is the driver vehicle type card. This type of card actually consists of two different cards, a card for a driver and a card for a vehicle. When using this type of card, you must associate the driver with the vehicle and vice versa. If a driver wants to fuel, they must provide the vehicle they are dispensing fuel into. Now that you understand the two types of cards, I'd like to explain accounts. Accounts can be seen as different departments. For example, a city may have a police department, a fire department, a parks and rec department, and so on. Accounts are not necessary to set up Phoenix, but they help keep things organized if you have different departments within your organization. First things first, there is a setting on the Settings tab under Global to automatically flag any new or edited cards and accounts. If the option is not enabled, you will need to check the update box on each card and account you are creating or editing so it can update during the update card command. Moving on to accounts. We start with the account ID global card. This is set up by default and any new cards you create will fall under the account ID global card. We're going to create a new account by clicking new at the top right. The account ID can be anything you want. The account name is the full name for the account. We'll make this the police department account. The system account is a number that the fuel site controller will use to recognize the account. Short name is the short name for the account, up to nine characters. Mark it as valid. Under FSC account, you can create product or quantity restrictions for that account. Click save. We can see that we have zero cards in each of these accounts. Let's make a new account for the fire department. We have our fire department set up, so let's move along and create some cards that will be linked to these departments. Click on the Cards tab and select a department. We're going to use the Police Department. This will be a simple card, and we will select Single Type Card. Set the card status to Valid. Add the name for the card. Now for the card number. The first four digits of the card is the network number. The card number is a maximum of 10 digits long. In this example, we use 1234 as the network number and start the sequence with 000001. This is the most typical format. The card can be either swiped to proximity or entered manually. If you want manual entry only, you can set up whatever card number you want for drivers up to 19 digits. The card record length or card number is dependent on what media you're using. You can look up these details in the FSC manual. The short name is the shorter version of the full name. We're going to select Fuel at all sites. Click Save to save the card. Now we're going to set up another card for someone in the fire department. Select the card type as driver. Fill out the rest of the information and save this card. Now that we have a driver, we're going to add a new vehicle. Add a new card and set the card type to vehicle. We're using the name Fire Truck 1. Complete the rest of the information and click Save. We're going to add one more vehicle and call it Engine 2. Complete the information and save it.
We'll add one more driver for the fire department and save. With everything entered and saved, we have to push the data to the fuel site controller. Go to Card Utilities, click the site name, and then click Resend. Resend only works if there are no cards and no accounts in the system, so it only works the first time. You can check the status window to verify that the cards were sent. Once the cards have been sent with the resend command, you will use the update command to add or update accounts and cards. Once the system is set up, you use the update command.